Hey guys, uh, welcome to Night Owl. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Rami. And today we're watching Attack on Titan on Crunchyroll. We've been waiting to watch this for a really yeah. long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Season four was the beginning of season four. The first half was just crazy. Completely yeah. changed like the dynamic of the entire show. Yeah. Because um, it was also a time jump. Yeah, time skip. And, and adult Aaron was crazy. <laughs> jump and he's kind of like a warmonger now yeah okay so you when i first started watching this show mm -hmm. you show you showed it to me i did first yeah. years ago mm -hmm. like you showed me the first two episodes and at the time i didn't i did not like it at all yeah. it was too depressing mm -hmm. with like the titans coming in and yeah that first everybody. episode the first couple episodes are really rough watching so. Aaron's mom get eaten mm -hmm. uh yeah that was just too much for me at the time i yeah. think uh but then a few years later more of my friends were into anime mm -hmm. and uh i because i knew how popular attack on titan was i decided to give it another chance and once I got to episode four, I was hooked. What like, happened in episode four specifically? The Colossal Titan comes back oh, to right. kick in Wall Rose. Yeah. <laughs> and that blew my mind and I just couldn't stop watching throughout the Battle of Trost. And, mm -hmm. um, yeah. And now we're here at the, yeah. after the first half of season four. And we find out that all of this has just been a race war. And Eren is not a... Uh, Aaron's on some other shit right now. Yeah, I, 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 have, I don't like how Aaron is behaving. I mean, I don't think anyone is, but mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I can understand his, like him coming to a conclusion that maybe it would be better off if we used the Founding Titan's power to, you know, take over. Like, uh, or no no to to uh change all eldians so that they're incapable of procreating anymore mm -hmm. so that they'll just peacefully die out right and that the war will be titan free mm -hmm. i i can understand his train of thought i i'm not convinced that that's actually what he wants though well if it is i'm convinced that that's what zeke wants right um, it's, it's possible Eren could be trying to play Zeke. Yeah. Like, you know, get the Fountain Titan's power for some other purpose. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe use the rumbling to actually, you know, as a weapon mm -hmm. instead, instead of just a deterrent. Mm -hmm. But I, what, what I'm not liking about how Eren is acting is just how he's been treating everyone. Yeah. He's been really unnecessarily mean to <laughs> Hanji, to Mikasa, and to Armin. Yeah. Which I don't... Whoop Darman's I ass. I don't like yeah. it at all. Um, and telling Mikasa that she he hates her? Did he say that? Yeah. I, I, I'm trying to remember exactly what they said in that conversation. Because he was like, he was like, I'm, he was saying, free, I'm free. And he you're was saying, not. Like, <laughs> the Ackermans are, are basically like my brainwashed to die for the royal family. Basically, yeah. And he was like, you... You're a slave to your ancestry. Yeah, and you, you, you like living to protect me is just your ancestry, like picking a faulty target, mm -hmm. like thinking that I'm one of the royal family. Right. Yeah. And so this is not your free will. Uh, but it, did, when did he say he hated her? In that same conversation. I did think. he say he hated her because she wasn't free? Yeah. Okay. But still. Yeah. That was messed up. Um, and then Armin. Tried to stand up for her and got fucking humbled. <laughs> so Aaron is in Shiganshina. Right, right. Uh, Peak and Gallier just tried to eat him, mm -hmm. and they failed. Mm -hmm. um, and what's her name? The, the Gabby. Gabby. Uh, she's with them too. Oh right, right, right. Uh, the little girl. She's interesting. Yeah. She's gonna have to come to grips with all this all the brainwashing <laughs> i wonder yeah i wonder what where everyone's gonna land in terms of what they believe and what they fight for mm -hmm. uh but yeah so armin not armin well yeah okay armin mikasa and the rest of levi squad are in a cell uh underground in shiganshina mm -hmm. uh i think yeah yeah so levi squad's in the cell 
Levi and Zeke were blown up together. Because Levi shoved a thunder spear in Zeke's body, mm -hmm. and Zeke set it off, and so they both exploded. Oh. I don't know what happened to Levi. He's probably super injured. Yeah. Uh, but Zeke is definitely injured, and he. Because I remember got, he he got put the thunder spear in there to stop him. Yeah, and like tied the the pin yeah. to his neck. Yeah. So he's like, if you fucking try to get out of here, if you move, you're, you're gone. Die. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. uh, so yeah, then Zeke, like telepathically, made a titan rip open its mm -hmm. abdomen. And stuff in the inside like yeah. a tauntaun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, and I think Flock has Hanji captive, and they just heard the thunder spear go off. Mm -hmm. So they're I think they're headed towards Levi and Zeke. Mm -hmm. Rhina just arrived to the walls with the aerial. Oh Levi right, and, Marley. and Aaron was giving him the death stare. Yeah, <laughs> like bring it on. Yeah. Uh, Rhino is fucking dying at the end of this. I think <laughs> at, this, at the end of this fight, I, he's a goner. I, I'm so worried about everyone. I'm, I don't want. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a my favorite back. characters to die. Who are your favorite characters? I love. I mean, I love all of Levi's squad. I was mm -hmm. heartbroken when Sasha got, got killed. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, I, I love Jean and Armin and Connie, Mikasa, and. Uh, Armin, I love I love Levi. Did I say that already? Yeah. <laughs> Hanji. I mean everyone. Everyone yeah. on our side. All the scouts. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Is there anybody? Any any of the uh, warriors or like on that side that you like? I mean, Rhina is a really conflicted guy. Yeah. You know I, uh, so I and you know we we did get to flesh him out a lot in the mm -hmm. past in like earlier part of season four so I definitely do on some level care about him mm -hmm. uh, I don't like Gallier at all he's just annoying he's just <laughs> yeah he's just Flock needs to die ASAP yeah Flock never is liked interesting Flock. Flock is like he to me he reminds because his whole thing is like why the fuck am I alive mm -hmm. right <laughs> and so he's kind of I don't know. I think just the fact that he didn't have any particular reason to survive, like he was just fodder or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I think he's just kind of his way of dealing with that is just like I think he just sees no value in life. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so like like He's kind of given like this, like oh fucking, it didn't matter if I die. It doesn't matter if anybody else dies. Mm. Like that gives me license to kind of just be free and do what I want. Well, at, at first I think he was dealing with survivor's guilt. Yeah. When all of the other recruits died except for him. Yeah. He, you know, I think really needed to believe it was for a reason. Yeah. And so he thought that that reason was to save Irwin. Yeah. But then, which is why he got so upset when. They saved Armin instead because he felt like, well, mm -hmm. then, I mean, what was the point of me surviving mm -hmm. if it was for nothing, you know? Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard for me to see any of the Eldian, like, warriors or mm -hmm. warrior candidates or whatever. Like, the Eldians who are still living under Marley. Mm -hmm. It's hard for me to see them as, like, antagonistic. Sure. Because it's like, they're just kind of... Yeah, like, I mean, I don't like Gallier, but I understand that he's just as much a victim of oppression as right. the rest of them. Uh, and so to me, it just seemed like, oh my god, all this fucking violence, and it's like they're still all the same people, you know? Yeah. What I mean? Okay. I'm, all right. Um, yeah. I think let's let's start watching. Me. Okay. Um, all right. So. Oh, you have it. Okay. Yeah. So. Episode seventy six, Judgment. Let's go. Please don't tell me that Levi is dead. Ooh. Is he dead? I don't know. Oh. Zeke's still here? I guess he's in there, like, healing, yeah. right? No! 
noise She can't be kidding me. She might be saying that to get them to not finish him off. Yeah, this man is, I think he's seeing through her. <laughs> oh, is he absorbing that Titan? To heal? To heal? Yeah, he might have. Wow. This man is so resourceful. <laughs> I forget what the Jaegerists are. They're loyal to Zeke and Aaron. Oh shit! Good job, Hanji. I wonder if that's the first in there. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Levi fucks them all yeah, up. Yeah, really got <laughs> What? Do you see? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the well, Legion of you know, Colossal <laughs> Titans. Right, but I mean, I don't know how much of this is like, yeah, this is what's gonna happen in the season, or this is just like yeah. you know, the themes of the show. Because like in season two, there was that you know that scene where like Zeke, the Beast Titan, is running with like a dinosaur and an elephant and a whale. Oh yeah. Like you know, like so I don't know what to believe and what not to believe. Okay, fair enough. Primo metal opening. When is Annie gonna wake up? Probably like, this like, season, I, right? I mean, yeah, but what's gonna like trigger it? Armin, maybe? I don't know, he's been visiting her for a while. Yeah, but I mean, like, I don't know what he's up to visiting her. I don't imagine he's planning to free her, but I'm wondering if that's gonna do something. Judgment. Yes, sir. It's so weird seeing Armin with short hair. <laughs> they, they, they all think it's the rumbling. Yeah. Oh, uh, what's his name? What's the kid's name? Gabby's friend. Falco? Falco. He's awake? I guess so. Yeah. He was unconscious, I think. Uh, in the last time we saw him. But he's got some of uh, Zeke's spinal fluid inside. Him. Yeah, yeah. Oh boy. Reiner. There he goes. With his engineer goggles. Oh shit. Oh, they're, they're all gonna turn. Titans, I think yeah. they're all gonna turn. Yeah, probably. What? No, they don't have Zeke to turn them. I think those are just oh, soldiers. Yeah. yeah. It's, and because those, those Titans, those people were bound up like this. Right, yeah. What? So she can turn? Oh. Yes, yeah. She had no other way of making herself bleed. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Peek isn't super useful right now, though. I mean, she's fast, but she doesn't have any weapons on her. Her Titan form is so creepy. <laughs> she annoys me, too. Yelena.
What you gonna do? Oh, oh boy. He's got his gauntlets. <laughs> his Warhammer gauntlets. This is Shiganshina, right? Yeah. Oh, I hope, uh, what's his name? The Commandant. I hope he's alive. Who? You know, the, the guy who found Grisha outside of the walls and was with Aaron's mother. Oh. Because uh, last we saw him, Flock got the new cadets to beat the shit out of him. Give her oh, supplies. That, that might be her, uh, her weapons. Wait, he's not an Eldian, though, right? No, he's not. Oh, all those Colossal Titans might be the walls. Yeah. That's, yeah that's... I was just like, who? Oh, where did all those yeah. Colossal Titans come from? Yeah. yeah. No, they're definitely the wall Titans. Okay. Shot in the head? That looked like it. Or did they attack Aaron? Oh, yeah, it was peak. This is like Liberio, but reverse, you know, it, now it's Marley, you know, really has got the upper hand. getting used to using the Warhammer Titan's power? Maybe. Oh yeah, that like an old guy? Yeah. Will it? Will he? I forget. Oh, 
headaches every time she says no. That's true. I just... Like, I knew this was a possibility. It is a possibility, but why is he being so mean to everybody? <laughs> I don't know. Also, I was thinking, if the Founding Titan can change the biology of people, all well, these Eldians, mm -hmm. couldn't he use it to just ch change them so they're just like everybody else and incapable of turning into Titans? Maybe. Levi Squad's gonna pull up. What? Oh, come on. Well, I guess I should have known that it was gonna end soon. But... Yeah. <laughs> uh. Hmm. I wanna see how it ends. So Hanji and Levi got away. Yeah. I it seems like Levi's still alive. Yeah, barely. Yeah. Um, Zeke is reunited with Flock and them. Aaron's pinned by Lina. Yeah. And and, and Gallier and um, Nick. Stop that from happening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't. Ah, no, 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 I definitely I don't want to hear yeah, this. I paused it. I paused oh, okay, it. okay. <laughs> I didn't know if I could just X that out or whatever. Right. Anyway, um, that was a fun episode. Yeah, it's good to get back into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I kind of, I don't really have much to say just because it's still in the middle of the action. Sure. And I kind of want to just see the next one. <laughs> yeah. You know? I mean, I mean, I think in the next episode. Levi's squad is going to choose to defend Aaron. Probably. I don't think he can get out of that situation on his own. Yeah, cause, I mean, that it would be weird for them to right. help Marley, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, I mean, I... I oh, gee, it must be so hard for those guys, because they must be so confused and conflicted. Yeah. Not sure what the right thing to do is, whether or not they can trust Aaron. Yeah. What would you do? <clears throat> I mean, I think Onyan Capone is right. If, you know, if they want to save Parody from the world, but also save it from Zeke's euthanization plan, mm -hmm. they do need to keep Aaron and Zeke alive, or at mm -hmm. least maintain power of their titans. Mm -hmm. uh, and, but just you know, keep them apart uh, until they can either you know convince one of them to not go through with it or know that one of them isn't going to go, know that Aaron doesn't plan to go through with it um, or like you know get turn other Eldians into Titans and get them to eat Aaron and Zeke yeah but yeah, I mean Historia is already having a kid so that can happen so that so that the they can, can eat the continue a line of, you know, founding titans. Not 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 no not founding titans. They can't give the founding titan to Historia and her descendants. Otherwise, they're going to be controlled by uh, King Fritz. Oh, right. So they got to give uh, they got to give uh, his the Rice family the the Beast Titan. Mm. And give the. Uh, the other three titans to someone else. I don't know how... Can, can they be re-separated? After they've been... Well, like, the thing they said that, like, person. if somebody dies and doesn't get inherited, it'll just be reborn in someone right, else, so right? Right, so three of them be just redistributed instead of it would have put to, into it, one person again? I guess that's the only way that happens, right. is they die without being eaten. 
but like you can't predict who it's gonna show up in next, right? Right. Yeah. It's, it could be any. It's any pretty alien. random. Yeah. That place that Zeke was in, where he you know was with that girl rebuilding his body, and he saw all those pathways in the skies. I think that's the same place Emir saw when she inherited the power of the Jaw Titan. Oh right. Yeah. I remember that. Not inherited, but like, you know. Yeah. But obtained. Yeah. It was a really good, good, good place to start off. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching with us, guys. Yeah, thanks, everybody. Hope you liked our reaction. Mm -hmm. uh, Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, that would really help us out. If you want to see more. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Yeah. Later, see you guys. <laughs>